In today's video, I will teach you how to use layer groups in GIMP. Let's get started. Layer groups in GIMP serve as a powerful organizational tool, allowing users to group layers in a hierarchical structure for efficient project management. Here's a comprehensive guide on creating, managing, and utilizing layer groups in GIMP. First, let's create a layer group. For manual creation, click the new layer group button at the bottom of the layers dialog, or use the menu command, go to layer, the new layer group or right-click in the layer dialog and select new layer group. You also have the option to name the layer group. Rename the layer group for clarity by double-clicking its name, pressing F2, or using the context menu. Descriptive names help avoid confusion, especially when dealing with multiple layer groups. Now, for the hierarchy, create multiple layer groups and embed them within one another for a structured hierarchy. Now, Let's move on to adding layers to a layer group. You can simply drag the existing layers into a group. For a new layer, use the New Layer button or use the shortcut key shift Control n and assign it to the current layer group. And for visibility, layers within a group are slightly indented, indicating their membership. A small icon allows collapsing or expanding a layer group. If a group is invisible but open, layers inside it may have a struck out eye icon indicating theoretical visibility within the group. And to rearrange layer groups, use click and drag, arrow keys, or context menu options to raise or lower layer groups in the hierarchy. To duplicate and move layer groups, duplicate a layer group using the duplicate button or right-click and select duplicate layer. Move a layer group to another image through click and drag or copy-paste by using the shortcut key Ctrl C and Ctrl V then make sure to anchor them. To delete a layer group, click the red cross button at the bottom of the layers panel or right-click and choose Delete Layer. For embedding layer groups, while a layer group is active, use the Add New Layer Group command to embed another group inside it. There's no apparent limit to the number of embedded layer groups. For layer modes and groups, layer modes applied to a group affects only the layers within the group. The pass-through mode introduced since GIMP 2.10 treats layers inside the group as a part of the layer stack, blending with layers outside and within the group. For opacity and layer mask, changes in opacity apply to all layers within an active layer group. Layer masks on layer groups behave similarly to ordinary layer masks, with adjustments based on the combined size of all the layers under the group. And lastly, finding layers and layer preview. Use Alt and middle click on an image element to find the corresponding layer. Preview rendering of layer groups can be disabled by going to Edit, Preferences, then Interface. This is to address performance issues. This comprehensive guide provides a detailed understanding of creating, managing, and utilizing layer groups in GIMP for effective image editing and project organization. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.